Bill, Pete, good morning. I uh, see on your blog that you were doing some work in the 160 meter band. I just want to show you uh, my rig, which is the Bidex derived rig with the impedance and sensitive amplifiers, the one that uh, I talked to you, Bill, on direct homebrew to homebrew. So here it is receiving 160. Now I don't have bandpass filters or a low pass filter to allow me to uh, transmit yet. But uh, also another demonstration of the stability of these digital oscillators that we've been using. So here it is. So, yeah, other than that, uh, not much going on. I'm trying to use most of my equipment here as I get on the air. The BMW 51 and the Ranger. And uh, the ART 13 has been uh, running pretty good. Nice hearing you on the other morning, Frank. And of course, being AM, so we can hear both upper sideband or upper sideband and lower sideband. And switching between low injection and high injection. Again, here's the uh, so anyway, balanced trans uh, right uh, antenna the match. Goes over the mic. And of course, the rest of the uh, other reg here. Yeah, and what SNG? WA3JBT. Great uh, solid mm. transmission. Uh, Glenn and uh, Mike. Yeah, well, the old military net, the conditions weren't too bad yesterday. Um, I guess we had some of the night crew in there before we got started with, so I didn't have much of a pre-net. And, uh, yeah, that really disrupts things when the band's really long at that hour. But, you know, that starts early, 5 a.m., and, uh, you know, it's, things have not shortened up by then on a dependable basis anyway except in the um, well some of the uh, some of them some of the nets have really been rough <laughs> you almost need two net controls around you know but with the band so long I guess that doesn't that put you out of the range of a target area okay N3FJZ 73